Citizen TV, Accra, Ghana. Citizen TV, the citizen's power. Uh, last month, no. He had a quick opinion poll about it to judge the sentiment of Ashanti voters with regard to enthusiasm and willingness to vote MDP because of that month. In, the, in that poll, about 73% of them were going to vote for MDP and then 50% were going to vote for uh, NDC. 9% for Alan Tremakin and 2% for Anapas Kediasa. So after four weeks of campaigning and all those issues, we've made our plan to we'll go to Santi between every month that we're not doing national tracking polls. Just to go to the performance of FP in that region, because that performance is very crucial for what happens in December. And also, I have almost 85% time is achievable and uh, uh, just uh, extremely generous. So that's the reason behind the work with the national region. Mm, so every four weeks, more by some point, more validity views our preferences, our Asante region. Sanity, until October. October, we'll be doing that anyway as part of a national action pool. So we won't go there in October. We'll go there uh, in September. Mm. And the update uh, from July uh, last year, na uh, yeah, August to my update, you know, uh, incorporating a uh, year Napo, I uh, yeah, didn't buy uh, as running me to Dr. Baumiano. Tell us what has happened. It's very interesting from the case of Steve. Oshia Alan Sematche is still on 9.9%, probably 9.2%, barely 0.2% increase. But there has been a significant shift towards John Muhammad. And Oshia, he has moved from 15% to nearly 24%. And Baumia has moved from 33% to around 65%. That's a huge drop in Baumia's number. And also, Nana Kwan Bedia appears to have collapsed in the country. It's now below 1%. And the interesting thing is that the ocean, where the movement came from, across all eight groups, Baumia lost across all eight groups. 18 to 25, 26, 35, at tops, at various uh, uh, levels of uh, loss of vote. But basically, I think the story lies, if you look at the story or the numbers from the lens of partisanship. Omo Omo Ye MP before Omo Tukma Baumia, in between the period, no, are actually gone up. So let me just get those data. Okay. And we can the post process MPP4 are almost a swasti by 0.6% between the third pole and the second pole. I just said MPP4 hit that to know almost too much Mahamano between yes. July pole and the August pole, no, almost reactive. By 0.2%. 0.6%. 0.6%, okay. But within MPP, you know, Baume has actually gone up by plus 2.1%. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so like there's, there's a surge in the uh, Baume, uh, there's a search for Baume within the core MPP grouping. Absolutely. So I would attribute that probably Napo within the core of MPP in a country and then Alan lost one percent within MPP, and Nana Kwan lost zero five percent. So all those losses that they are for Alan and Mahan went to Baumia among MPP voters. So you could argue that Napo has added point percent to MPP base in the century. But what I think that done, to, let's say, to the team voters. Simultaneously, we have seen that Muhammad has shot up by 5.5% among floating groups in the Ashanti region. Mm -hmm. 
and Alan has got a 13.2 percent among floating in a country region. I just say Alan at 13 percent, John at 5 percent amongst floating voters. What does yes. it tell us? We have seen a dramatic drop in floating voters who support Baumia. They have lost 16.6 percent among floating voters of Ashanti region. And uh, they have lost 2.9 percent in Ashanti region. So one can conclude that whereas the Napo may have been a positive for MPP based in Ashanti region, it's costing MPP among floating voters in Ashanti region, who are nearly 17 percent of the total voters in Ashanti region. Mm. And generally, MPP for say almost a share uh, not less than 80 percentage points in the Asante region, and that when they garner 80 percent or more, all results from other regions will come to not a win, a safe win will be for the MPP. What are we seeing from these data uh, compared to what MPP has been telling us? You know, I believe that the elections in December will be around this week. That will not matter the margin of error. It will not be around the period that they are quoting. Why am I saying this? Because nearly 87% of the Ashanti group, I would say they have made up their mind. Indeed, we are not it's likely to that. witness any dramatic change of reference no per this big only 3.5 percent said they are likely to change their mind 3.5 percent and, and just about me at middle 60 percent votes no uh a more of crystal plus or minus the maximum zero of 3.5 percent so his best performance from this school would be in the region of this uh 70 percent yeah, the best yeah. Now, besides visiting Asante every month, what happens to the swing regions of Greater Accra, Central, Western, Western North? What happens to the Zongo areas? What happens to the uh, Northern region proper? And what happens to the uh, five Northern regions? Greater Accra, we're not enough yet to know what is going to happen in Greater Accra. So we're not going to waste money again to go back to Greater Accra. I didn't we try. have done quite a lot of work in central region. We mm -hmm. know how central is going to find out. So you need to get me to go to you. West region will have a very good idea because of several books and there. Asante region, the reason why we're doing this for Asante is because we can't get up to 85%. Nobody has set target for Greater Central, and Western region. The target has been set for Asante region. And that's what we are monitoring. So you are monitoring and uh, working to validate it. Yes. Ah, uh, executive director Musa Dankwa, you know, say any uh, great data who turn out. Now you know, yeah, quite cool. Some statistics. Now, yeah, baby. Uh, I'm saying that now, MPP need to come to Busa, baby. Uh, on a book bookly. Let me have a bookly now. Come to Busa, baby. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Abu Ji, how are you? Eh, Munjima. Yo, yeah. Me, me, pass me Busa, Sam. Kakrebi. Mm -hmm. Sampling size, you know. Mm -hmm. But me have my idea, sampling size, you know. Okay. Oh, Debbie, it, it must be so. Okay. I'm sure going to start. Okay, it is. To determine the sample size, you know, for this poll, you, know, yeah, you shoot the whole voter population of Ashanti region as a perimeter. Ashanti has nearly 3.3 .3 million voters right now. Mm hmm. So if you are doing food in Ashanti region, that would be one of the ingredients of determining the sample size. And also, what level of confidence we want to have in this poll? We have chosen to have African confidence. So with this, and the margin of power we have chosen of, say, 2.5 percent, when you feed this variable into the simulator or the what we call our software that calculates how many interviews you do, it gives you that one thousand six hundred ninety. It is yet a seven year. 
uh, you randomly selected 14 constituencies from the Ashanti region and then pull them, uh, getting a sample size of 1392, and then with a confidence level of 95%, and imagine yes. an error of 2.57%. Is that right? Precisely. Bugri, does it tell you any story? Me, I wanted. Let me pursue or educate me. What you ask here? Let me. I have an idea of almost sampling size. No, how it fed into the conclusion and the findings and the friends and the discussions now. Now, what, what we are saying is that if you pick randomly, you are going to get a and you deploy the same sample size we deployed this time around back in those randomly selected, not carefully selected, randomly selected. The results you will get in your survey will be within what we have gotten, plus or minus mass of error that we have put out there. Hey, the last question. Hey, a friend say, mu sampling a uh, 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 area, no. Well, areas in a center in Yehina, where do you always pick your samples from? We don't, we don't always. We say we randomly. We have a, a computer that picks the number. So if we want to go to 14 areas, we don't choose it ourselves. The computer will run through the first seven areas in a country and pick 14 for us. Okay. And what 14 is picked, we deploy them top three electoral areas of the country. So if you are in Bantam, which electoral areas contribute the post of vote in Bantam? Those are the areas which I'm put to and interview randomly. Okay.